Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. Today we're just going to be doing a chilled, chatty, get ready with me. I have a few products that I've already tried once um, but wanted to try out again. Um, there will be some first impressions including the Skywalker highlighter from Kaleidos from the Space Age highlighter collection. Also, I have the Deuce by Juvia's, um, which I haven't tried yet, a new foundation to try. So, if you want to know how I created this look, what I thought of the products, and just sit and have a chat, get ready with me, then stick around. So, the primer I'm going to be using today is the Sport FX Cool Down Primer and Recovery Gel. I have only used this once, so... It's still very new to me. I'm just going to pop a bit of that on and see how we feel. And I have Mr. Fluff wanting to get in the bedroom. He's uh, not being quiet. Oh, it smells like coconut. I don't know why I didn't notice that the first time around. I think I had a bit of a cold. <laughs> feels really nice and if you do hear any noises banging drilling or anything the gas men are outside digging the road up so uh yeah that's uh great fun they've been here since yesterday morning i think maybe even the night before but i think uh there's a suspected gas leak who knows but yeah they're they're very noisy so i'm so sorry if you can hear them we're just going to have to ignore them. I can feel this tingling. It definitely is cooling. Yeah, there's not really much else I can say about that at the moment. It feels like it's sinking in quite nicely. But around here, I can really feel it tingling. So the foundation I'm using today is the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. It's new to me. It's been sat in my makeup I have, but I haven't tried yet box for a while. So, uh... We are going to give that a go and hope it's a good match. Who knows? So I'm just going to pump just the one pump for now. My Real Techniques 200. I love these brushes. I've got two. I use uh, one for my cream contour. Oh, I don't know as I've got the right shade here. It looks quite yellow based. But we'll make it work. So ignoring the fact that I picked the wrong shade, let's have a look at how it's sitting on the skin. Um, yeah, I don't feel like the coverage is, uh, is that good actually. But we're going to make it work for today anyway, <laughs> because I, uh, I don't have the energy to wash it off and start again. I'm still in too much pain. <laughs> Yeah, definitely definitely not the right shade but we shall see so far not that impressed with the the coverage at all so let's pop on some concealer and so the concealer i'm using today um i've used many times and i love them it is the elf 16 hour camo concealer i've got the shade medium sand for just a general spot concealing and the shade light sand for under the eyes so let's see if we can cover everything up because i really don't want to start again i can't i don't have the energy also if you hear some kind of talking in the background um my daughter is uh on video call with her teacher and class um because due to this wonderful new lockdown um they are learning remotely which i think is uh well is what it is but she's uh got her gcse's this year so i'm hoping it doesn't affect that too much we shall see we can only hope i know that the teachers are doing their best it is not your usual circumstances hopefully this will brighten up there a bit i'm quickly regretting my decision to use i think both the foundation and the concealer 
the foundation not only is it too dark but I think uh, it doesn't sit so nice on the skin and the concealer which I thought I loved after using the Catrice one looks really cakey weird really weird before I go in with powder I'm not going to forget this time I have the contour stick from so so Suzanne Jackson in the shade cool looks like this um, I absolutely love this so to give the face some shape so now we've got that on I'm just going to use my other real techniques 200 brush and just blend that in i have absolutely fallen in love with this um i've not had it very long i've only used it a few times but i say not had it very long i'd had it for a while um it'd been sat in my makeup i haven't used yet box which uh still contains a lot so for this year i think i'm putting myself on a low buy um, and just buying things that I really, really want. Just being really careful because obviously money is an issue. Yeah, I'm really, really not enjoying this foundation at all. Um, but we're going to soldier on. So the powder I'm going in with is Catrice New Delusion Loose Powder Transparent Matte. I've used it a few times now and I've been really, really impressed with how it's worked. So hopefully it can kind of hide or mask how bad this foundation is. I'd heard so many good reviews as well, but maybe it's nicer on younger skin. I must remember I'm getting older now. My skin is not what it once was. However, I've not had this much trouble with a foundation for a long time. Mm. It's not looking nice powdered down either. I don't know how well you can see, but I'll come up a bit closer. Can you see around my nose and on my nose and around my mouth? I think it's looking really, really cakey. I think my lighting is making it look better on camera than it looks in real life not impressed not impressed at all right so we are now on to brows i'm going to quickly whiz through this but i am going to show you the product i'm going to be using first because it is new to me it is the la girl brow pomade i've got it in dark brown just looks like this because obviously my Revolution one has dried up and is near on impossible to use. So really disappointed with that because it did look really, really nice. But hey ho. All right, so I'm going to quickly whiz through doing my brows and then we'll get on with the rest of the face. Well, as far as colour and ease of use go, so far I'm liking this. It's really creamy, it's really easy to apply. I think it's a pretty good colour match. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. Um, I did use, or I do use, <laughs> the Beauty Bay BB212 brush. I always use this to do my eyebrows. I just find it's the, the perfect size and shape. So there's that. The eyeshadow primer I'm going to be using is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've only used this once. Um, but I quite liked it from what I remember. And I'm just going to pop some on my Moda Domed what's it called domed domed shadow brush I don't know I can't read it properly I haven't got my glasses on so I'm just going to pop a squidge of that on there and let's see how uh, how this goes I'm only really doing the upper part above my lid and the kind of outer V area because I will be going in with the NYX Glitter Primer, which I always do to put on the shimmers. Yeah, I do wish it had some, like, more colour to it so that it, it covered a bit 
ba -da -ba. Oh, well, I've got my uh, ABH eye primer for that, which I love. So, swings and roundabouts. <laughs> so, the palettes I have picked out of my makeup I haven't used yet box to try today is the Deuce by Juvia's Place. I think it's Deuce. Deuce, do you say? Anyways, <laughs> it is this one here. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, names aren't quite so difficult in this one, so fingers crossed I don't butcher them. Uh, we shall see. So using my Jessup 227 Lux Soft Definer brush, I'm going to go in with cream, creme, cream up here. And I'm going to be placing that pigmented um, all the way through my crease. I'm just going to place it where I want it first. I want to bring this quite high up because the uh, the deeper shade I want above my uh, above my crease so that it shows with my hooded eyes. I do love Juvia's Place shadows. They are so beautiful. I've yet to find one I don't like. My favourite one though is definitely the Tribe. So beautiful. And it's got that really amazing shade that looks like a neutral shimmer in the palette. But then when you put it on the eyes, it's just amazing. It's just got this real gorgeous green shift in it which just looks amazing on the inner corner and on the brow bone i love it anyways <laughs> we're meant to be discussing this one stuff so just blending that kind of up and out a bit okay so now we've got that shade in the crease i'm going to deepen up with custard the purple and I'm going to be using my Spectrum A12 brush. Let's have a little dip into there. I'm just going to be using that in the kind of outer V and throughout the crease. So just placing a bit on first and then I will blend it out. So I want to make sure that it's going to show when my eyes are open. So I'm going to open my eyes and just gently touch along there so that I can see where it is I want to take it to. The joys of hooded eyes and older skin. Don't you just love it? Yeah, I'm liking this colour. I may have to go in and deepen the outer view a bit more and the only option I have for that is the dark brown. I'll go back over the edge with that first colour to blend it out once I've got everything where I want it. Blend the edges slightly there. So we have just gone into another complete lockdown. Um, we're not going to discuss the lockdown too much because uh, it's depressing. And uh, I think we hear enough about it on the news anyways um but what are you doing to keep yourselves occupied um obviously if you're in an area with the high restrictions so for me um it's not really made a massive amount of difference just purely because uh i'm at home all the time where i'm in so much pain and uh and on so many painkillers that i'm uh, not with it at all most of the time <laughs> um but yeah i obviously my filming helps but i can't do that all the time because uh i'm in too much pain <laughs> um is the honest answer to that if i had the energy i would um obviously i'm in a position where at the moment i can't work because uh the pain is uh so bad you will probably notice that recently there's been a lot more editing to my videos 
and that is just purely me cutting out the parts where uh, I'm kind of wincing in pain <laughs> um, or cutting out when I've had to take like a, a half hour break and I've had to jot down on the notepad what I was saying so that I came back in and carried on if that makes sense also during lockdown I've well I've always been into um true crime documentaries etc where I study psychology um but I discovered during lockdown um because I watched Bailey Sarian anyway but during lockdown I discovered a girl called Eleanor Neal um she's in the UK and she covers uh true crime both solved and unsolved cases and uh, I've found that I've really gotten into her videos she doesn't do makeup um, I, I believe she used to do some makeup videos um, but so I believe that's how I found her initially but her true crime videos are brilliant so just going back in with cream creme whatever and just using that to gently buff out the edges so yeah if you are interested in like true crime I'll link her channel in the description box below for you to check out I really enjoy her um, what else have I been doing because obviously most of the time I am kind of limp back on the sofa in the same position um, just watching stuff I, I catch up with uh, my friends YouTube videos when I can but also on a Thursday and Saturday my friend Rob Childs is an amazing country singer um, but he also tours with Rich Hall and um, the comedian so yeah he's doing live shows on his Facebook page um, on a Thursday between 2 and 4 and that's more of your country classics and then on a Saturday between 6 and 8 and that's more foot stomping kind of country so if you like country music check out Rob Childs um, on Facebook I'll, uh, I'll link that in my description box below also okay so yeah I'm definitely going to want to take a bit of brown in my crease I do need to deepen that up a bit more so this brown here chocolate chocolate no no the dark brown um just taking a smidge of that on my little morphe fluffy bleh, on my little morphe fluffy brush with no name or number and i'm just going to use that just to deepen up this very corner here okay just nip back in with the purple just to blend out the uh, brown a little bit I don't really want it to look overly brown I'm not a brown lover sorry if you are oh, I think that's uh, pretty much done what I want it to do okay so for the lower lash line I'm going to take a smidge of that brown and just poke myself in the eye with that and place that just under my lower lash line there so with that there I'm just taking the spectrum oh I didn't tell you what I used first so I just used the um, Zoeva 226 smudger for the brown under there now I'm just taking my spectrum a12 the one that we used for the purple and I'm just with no additional product going to use that to buff out the brown under here I might actually take it just a little bit of that purple that's better I do love Juvia's Place shadows. So I'm just going in with the fluffier brush that I used for the colour creme, cream, whatever it is. 
I'm just going to use that just to soften the very edges. No extra product at all. It's just for buffing out. So I'm just going to nip off, pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then I'll be back to continue. So firstly, using my Beauty Bay BB207 flat brush, I'm going to dip into Mont Blanc this uh, shimmer here and that one's going to go on the kind of outer part of my lid just here hmm. I wouldn't say it was necessarily my favorite color but we shall see so just making sure to take it in a diagonal line because I think that suits my my eye shape the best. So this is more like a gunmetal silver. I was expecting it to have more of a green shift. I don't know why. No idea why. So now taking my Morphe flat brush from the M -M -M Mitchell collection, if I can get the words out, um, I'm going into Macarons, the green shimmer and going to be placing that right next to Mont Blanc. Oh, I like this a lot. I'm just making sure to leave just a, a part open there and dragging this over that silver. Oh, this is so beautiful, so beautiful. I was never going to try this palette and not try this green. <laughs> I just can't help myself. I see green and it's like it shouts me, Steph, Steph, please use me. You know you want to. I'm so pretty. And I, I say, okay, <laughs> okay, I'll use you. This is so pretty. I've completely covered up that silver. I'm not, I wouldn't say I hate it, but I didn't love it. Yeah, I can't see that as being one of the shades that I'm going to use much from this palette. This one, however, is beautiful. And then using a little flat brush from Makeup by Tammy Cosmetics, I'm going to dip into Puffs, this really nice light pink shimmer and I'm going to place that one in the area that I've left open this is beautiful um, if you're not new to my channel you probably have noticed that I have quite a thing at the moment about pink and green together I I just think it just looks beautiful and this is no exception this green and pink go together absolutely gorgeously look at that so films is another thing that is uh, helping to keep me occupied and uh, the other night we watched uh, a brilliant film it's called um, World War Z it's got Brad Pitt in and oh it's a bit hectic um because of the zombies and if you don't like zombies then you won't like it um yeah both myself and my boyfriend really enjoyed the film it was so good so yeah that's definitely one i would recommend i can't remember if we watched it on netflix or amazon prime it's on one of those two but yeah world war z so yeah if you can watch it I recommend it. But yeah, if you don't like zombies, don't. <laughs> don't watch it because they, the zombies are quite intense in it. <laughs> and uh, I don't often jump at films and I jumped out of my skin multiple times. So there is that. Oh, that is so beautiful. 
what a beautiful combination so i'm just going back in with the green just a little bit uh, macarons just to make sure i've got a good blend between the two oh they're just blending so beautifully oh i love it love it love it love it all right just using uh, my little lux pencil 230 from zoeva i'm going to dip into that green and i'm just going to smudge that on the inner part of my lower lash line oh beautiful that is stunning and then just with the same brush i'm just going to dip the tiniest oh, dip into the brown just a tiny bit just to deepen that outer edge a little bit and then just going back into the purple custard i don't know if i said what that was called earlier custard and just dipping into that and i'm just going to use that over the outer edge of the green shimmer there just to just to mesh it in a little bit And taking a dab of the brown, just to go into the very, very outer V here. And then back in with the purple. kind of disguise the brown a bit yeah I'm pretty happy with how this is looking I'm just gonna nip off do my lashes liner lips etc and then I will come back to show you the finished look and have a bit of a chat about the product so don't go anywhere so I've nearly finished my face. I do have a highlighter that I want to try out with you on camera. So I'll let you know what I've popped on first. So the black eyeliner is the liquid eyeliner from e.l.f. That's the cat crying at the door. <laughs> the mascara I used is Barry M. That's how I roll. The lashes are from Makeup by Lisa in the style Raven. Um, in my waterline, I have the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in 22 Turquoise. And on my lips, I have the Lime Crime Velveteen's Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cupid. And for blush, I used the Pout and Shout blush. Um, the shade is Juicy Lucy. So, for highlighter, I'm so excited, I have the Kaleidos Skywalker just looks so beautiful oh <laughs> if the lid will stay open it looks like that i'm so excited to use it um everyone's always raving i haven't tried anything from kaleidos yet so this is my first go let's get my hair out of the way so let's give this a go my hair right out of the way i should have left my ears on to do this bit oh it's quite glittery. I think you can kind of uh, blend off most of the glitter particles. Well, it's definitely there. <laughs> definitely there. Yeah, it's definitely a glittery one, this one. I do have rather a lot of glitter on my face now. All right, let's just see if we can uh, blend that in a little bit with the blusher brush I used. Well, that highlighter is definitely there definitely um 
I would have preferred less glitter. However, the colour payoff is stunning. So I do want to use that highlighter as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. So let's see what happens when we... Oh, okay, this is amazing. Oh, I love what that's doing. I don't think I'll use this for the brow bone highlight because I think it's just that little bit too glittery but for an inner corner highlight bear in mind I've got no um primer on there at all there's no glitter primer or anything I'm just taking that under the eye slightly oh, I really want to blow that out because that is stunning well you can't say that you can't see that <laughs> that is gorgeous um so just quickly going to put that back in its box for some reason i just i don't want to take it out of its box yet i like i'm sad i know but yes so what i'm going to do for the brow bone highlight is go back into the deuce and just use a bit of puffs just use a bit of puffs for my brow bone or do I want to use tart? I haven't used tart. Yep. Actually I'm gonna use tart because I haven't used that one and that way we can uh, try another shade. So just popping a bit of that oh hair in the way again just popping a little bit of that under the brow bone Ooh, okay yeah I'm loving this look let me know what you think in the comment section below I'd be interested to see what you guys think of the Kaleidos highlighters if you have any please do let me know let me know which one you think is the best so let's talk about the products that we tried today well the sport FX cool down primer and recovery gel it's the second time I've used it um, it feels quite nice on the skin. It did tingle rather a lot around my nose and my mouth. Um, so I'm going to continue using it and see what I uh, think of it. But we'll see. I'm uh, neither one way or the other as yet. Um, the foundation, however. One, it was in the wrong shade. And two, I really, really don't like how this looks on my skin. Um, I just found that it looked cakey. I think it, it sinks into the lines. I really don't like it. So that is a big no from me, um, which I'm quite sad about because I was really hoping to love it. I'd read so many good reviews, but alas, it does not suit my skin. The Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer, let me just grab that. Um, this, yeah, I like it. I wish it had a bit more color. But apart from that, I can't say anything negative about it at all. So, yep, going to continue using that. The LA Girl Brow Pomade. Now, obviously, this is the first time I've used it. It was easy to apply. It's, it's a nice texture. Yeah, the colour's good. Obviously, I can't tell you how long it lasts or how it wears throughout the day and, and those kind of things because... It's the first time using it, so I will continue to play with this and I will let you know um, what my opinions are on it when I've used it a bit more. But first impressions, just how it applied and the colour, the consistency is beautiful. So fingers crossed, I have a new eyebrow pomade and hopefully this one won't dry up so quick. But yeah, never know. Um, for lipstick... Um, obviously I love the Lime Crime Velveteen Matte um, Liquid Lipsticks um, so I knew I'd like the formula um, but this is in the shade Cupid and yeah I love it I think it really goes with this look it's a really beautiful kind of petal pink peachy pink kind of colour but I really like it so the Space Age highlighter from Kaleidos in Skywalker I love it i do however wish 
that there was less glitter particles um, but most of them kind of blended off my face so I'm not too worried the colour payoff is amazing I love it um, so yes yeah, so so glad that I tried that and finally the Deuce palette from Juvia's first impressions I really enjoyed it I this colour works it's, it's not that it is a bad formula or applies bad but it's not my kind of colour and I would have loved to have this replaced with either a mint green matte or well <laughs> a mint green matte would have been really nice um, or even if it were to be another shimmer like a purple shimmer so either a mint green matte or a purple shimmer would have looked beautiful so that's my only gripe with this palette and it's nothing to do with the formula it's just personal opinion on colour so yeah I could have done without that shade apart from that everything I've used I loved it so I'm really happy with the final look so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much all there is to talk about I do want to take this moment to thank you all so so much I appreciate every one of you that watches my videos likes comments um, I thank you so so much you have made this lockdown and being in pain all the time you've made it bearable so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I'm so so grateful for every one of you I appreciate you so so much so there is that so yes thank you and thank you for joining me today if you've liked this video please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you're not subscribed already then I hope you'll consider sticking around I do a lot of colorful looks I love indie brands mostly but I'm a a makeup lover in general all things makeup as long as they're cruelty free so yeah I hope you are having a great day a great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing I hope you're taking care of yourselves I will see you again very very soon goodbye <laughs>